Good afternoon and welcome. Test, test. Are you hearing me through this? No. You know, if there was an on button, I would, I would do that one. Oh, it's on. Perfect. Welcome one and all. My name is Mike Anderson. This wonderful group of people behind me is the Hopkins Westman Concert Band. Today, we're going to start with the Ukrainian national anthem. The glory and freedom of Ukraine has not yet perished. support of Ukraine. We in Hopkins have this connection with our sister city. I am going to blank on the name right now. Borisville. Borisville. And we stand with the people of Ukraine and we wish for the conflict to be resolved and peace to be restored to the people of Ukraine. At this point, I'd like to ask everyone to rise for the posting of the colors by the Hopkins American Legion and VFW.
please. A round of applause for our members of the Hopkins, American Legion, and VFW. Every year we've been fortunate enough to be able to provide music for the Hopkins Memorial Day ceremony. And even though it got a little complicated with rain and finding where we could hold the event, it was wonderful as always and always good to remember our American flag and what it stands for. Also, a thank you to the city of Hopkins. They allowed us to borrow their flag of the state of Ukraine and we we're happy to, to have that posted there with our Minnesota flag and our American flag. Welcome to the HCA. A round of applause to all of you. We, it's been too long since we've been able to make some music and share some music from the stage here at the HCA, so we want to call this concert live from the HCA, and all the music we share today, we want to share with joy. Our next piece is from Minnesota composer, Minnesota professor at St. Olaf College. Any Olies out there? Olies? Yeah. Go to see a few of you. Tim Marr. And he based this piece on Beethoven's Ode to Joy, and we just want to share this joyfully with you. This is Tim Marr's Fantasia in G.
Is there anyone out there who's ever heard the can-can? <laughs> and I'm sure you might have some cartoons of dances coming to mind right now. So that famous can-can came from Jacques Offenbach's comic opera, Orpheus and the Underworld. Now, if you know the Orpheus myth, it's an important one for music and musicians, but it's a more serious one of these uh, Greek myths. But Jacques Offenbach didn't want to do anything serious. He wanted to have fun with it. So at that pivotal moment when Orpheus has to go down to the underworld, he's actually in love with someone else, but he feels obligated to try to save his wife who he's lost. And the condition is he can't look behind him Otherwise, she'll be lost to him. But Jupiter has fallen in love with his wife, so Jupiter throws this thunderbolt down to shock and disrupt Orpheus, so he looks around, sees his wife, and then she's lost, and he has to pretend to be sad, even though he's actually happy. And of course, what do they do after this big tragedy occurs? They dance a can-can. Why? French humor? I don't know, but it's wonderful music. We're going to be playing for you the whole overture to Orpheus in the Underworld.
Delightful French music, and I hope some great dancing kickline images came to your mind during that last can-can. So, our next piece comes from Minnesota composer and the professor at McAllister, Dr. Shelley Hansen. And the title of the piece, Escape Tones, comes from this specific musical terminology. So if we're going in a sequence of notes, two, three, four, that'd be a normal ascending order. But if we went two, down to one, then up to three, that wrong direction note is called an escape tone. I know, a little esoteric, a little esoteric. But she writes, and I want to get this correct, in music, as in life, we often go in the wrong direction before, before finding the right pathway. And What's amazing about this piece is this little esoteric musical theory thing is transformed into this beautiful piece. She actually wrote it um, over the course of last year towards December, January, February, as we were starting to come out of what we hope was the last surge of the pandemic. And she wrote it as this coming out of this collective trauma, bringing hope about how we can come back together. We've really enjoyed working on this piece and actually having Dr. Hansen come out a few weeks ago to work with us on it, and we're excited to share it with you. This is Dr. Hansen's Escape Tones.
All created because of that little music theory idea. Beautiful. And, I don't know, it felt like a big warm embrace on the stage, and we just wanted to stand to, to embrace you with that. So I, I hope you enjoy Dr. Hansen's work. I, I sure do. So in 1943, the Marines established the U.S. Marines Women's Reserve. And they were going to do a parade to honor all of the armed forces, including the Women's Marines Corps. And they realized they didn't have a march for them. So one of the generals got on the phone with one of the people who, is, who wrote music for the Marine band, Luis Saverino, and said, we have this parade tomorrow and we really need a march. So he was one of these savants who played all these instruments and in his head composed the whole thing as he was making his way on home and then went to the coffee shop and made all the parts. It's one that's kind of been lost to the ages a little bit. It's actually out of print. And this past year, the Marine Band's been trying to revive it a little bit. And so we located a copy of it and we're excited to share with you the March of the Women's Marines. It's a delightful little march. And are there any uh, current or retired Marines who are women in the audience, by the way? If there are, we dedicate this to you. So this is March of the Women Marines. Just a delightful little march. Oh, I hope it has a revival. 
the women Marines deserve it. So I want to take just a brief moment to tell you about ourselves. Who here has been to one of our concerts before? Welcome back. Anybody their first time? Oh, thank you all so much for being here. Bravo, let's give them a round of applause. She's probably out in the lobby right now, but it's, it's Eden's first concert, you know, first concert, concert in person. When we did our live stream in March, I think she got to see Daddy conduct, but I think if you see a little one-year-old crawling around getting into trouble, that's mine. So I'll claim the four-year-old sister as well. But we are the Hopkins Westwood Concert Band. This group has been in existence, in existence 39 years, I believe, 39 years. And we have always tried to create music for our community and share it with our community. And we are excited to be here with all of you and for all of you on this, what turned out to be a nice day to come inside and be with us. So we're always excited to be here sharing. Now, renting halls like the wonderful HCA aren't free. Uh, so if you are so compelled to give a donation, there is a little envelope in your program. There is a drum and we are in the 21st century. You can go to our website, hopkinswestman.org, and there's a Donate Now button. We've, we've become advanced. <laughs> yes, we have. But all donations are tax deductible, and I, my promise to you always is that any money that comes in is gonna go right back into making music for this community always. So, thank you. Our next piece is called Kalos Eidos. And Carol Britton Chambers took the word kaleidoscope because she's just imagining all these swirling colors and looked at the, the history of the word and those two parts, kalos eidos, as beautiful form. And she uses that idea of the kaleidoscope and the beautiful form as she created this piece. Actually, we had a part in helping create that piece. We've joined a number of commissions of works, specifically works uh, from groups that are underrepresented in the concert band repertoire. So Ms. Chambers' work that we're gonna present to you and Escape Tones earlier from Dr. Hansen uh, were ones that we helped commission, we're proud of them. So here is Kalos Eidos, a piece we've working on for two years. We were working on it, we were, right, we were about to perform it right before the pandemic hit. And so it's been two years in the making, it feels. So here's Carol Britton Chambers, Kalos Eidos.
just all those kaleidoscope of sounds, kaleidoscope of sounds. So back in the 1940s, Gustav Holtz wrote this group of pieces called The Planets. Who's heard The Planets before? It's a wonderful group of pieces. And Jupiter is the bringer of? Jollity, the bringer of jollity. Jupiter, the bringer of jollity. So we want to include some of Jupiter in here. So today, we're going to play the middle part of it, the Jupiter hymn for you to enjoy. I like these slow works. They feel like just a big, warm, comforting hug. I hope you do, too. So at the end of last year, Disney released a movie. I don't think it did very well. Little known. Music's not that popular. No, it became quite a mega hit, in fact. Um, so this is the movie Encanto. Who's seen Encanto with the family Madrigal? and that, that very famous song, We Don't Talk About Bruno, where it has all the different stories and narratives laid over on top about this character who's missing. And everything they're saying about him might be true, might not be true, but they're all not talking about him, but certainly they're singing about him quite a lot. It's a good song. Lin-Manuel Miranda did well. Surface pressure's better. <laughs> Changed my mind. But we'll be sharing both We Don't Talk About Bruno and Surface Pressure and a bunch of the wonderful songs from Encanto, all written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. So please enjoy this music from the hit Disney movie, Encanto. Thank you. 
Thank you all for coming out and joining us this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed the music so far. We hope you felt some joy from the stage. It's been a joy putting this music together and a joy being here with you. We're gonna end our concert the way we've always ended our concert, our favorite way, by playing America the Beautiful and the Stars and Stripes Forever. And by all means, if you wanna sing along on America the Beautiful, you may, if you wanna clap along on the Stars and Stripes Forever, you are certainly invited in, in to join in the joy of music making. We hope to see you many times this summer. We're playing, is it three or four times in downtown Park? twice in downtown Park. We'll be performing throughout the western suburbs. We have a postcard with our dates on it, please do check that out. If you're so compelled to give a donation, every cent, every dollar, every very large check you write, we'll go right back into making music. Uh, and thank you so much. So we can be the best band we can try to be, but without you we're nothing. So let's give them a round of applause, everybody. America the Beautiful and the Stars and Stripes Forever.